Hi, it's Neil McGovern here, and today I just want to do a very short video about what to do when you've been practicing loads and your lip is really hurting here. This is something I found happened to me when I was a, an undergraduate at the Birmingham Conservatoire, and I went from practicing one hour a day, one hour a day to doing about four plus hours every day, kind of with no ramp up really. So I, I quickly found after a few days, few weeks, that I was in a lot of pain. And initially I went to the dental hospital in Birmingham and what they did was they, they sanded down my uh, uh, beautiful uh, British teeth here that are a bit crooked at the bottom. But they didn't want to do too much of that because it damages the teeth or whatever. So they, after the second appointment what they did was what I wanted them to do which was make a lip guard. And the lip guard was uh, made from a mould of my teeth on the bottom uh, set. And it, it was just they made up a little plastic thing like you might get for playing uh, hockey or something like that, some sports guard, but it was much it was much thinner, so it was flexible, so it didn't really interfere with the embouchure too much when I was playing. Um, so you can go to the dentist and have something like that made if you're finding you're in a lot of pain after you're playing. If you're playing with classical embouchure, you're going to probably find this raw. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but something else you can do, um, and you can do this with kitchen roll, um, Claude de Longle does it with goat skin, I think, and that is to make just a little bit of uh, a cushion for your lip. So the way I do it is I get um, three little cigarette papers. I find these work quite well. And I'll show you what you do. You get three. <clears throat> you can use more if you want or less, but this works quite well. So you get them all together, just uh, moisten them a bit so they all kind of stick. Make a square, fold that in half, make another square, well, make another, another fold, and then you're left with a square that size at the end. And if you just moisten that, you'll find that you can put that on your lower teeth. And that will cushion things very nicely. So I've got this little bit of paper here. And it just goes right in the middle here underneath. I'm going to play and it will stick hopefully. So now, although it makes me lisp very slightly when I'm speaking. It's just here and it's going to cushion my lip so it doesn't hurt so much. Get rid of that. Now. What also is something to consider, maybe you don't want to use that, I found it does interfere with the tone a very small amount. So ideally I don't want to play with anything at all, but you know, depending on how much playing you're doing, you may find you do require something just to take away the pain, just to cushion it a little bit. Um, so, But what I find you can plan out your practice sometimes. So if I'm playing some clarinet or I'm playing soprano saxophone or alto saxophone and I'm doing classical stuff, I'll do those sort of things earlier in the day and I'll save my practice on some of the larger instruments, so um, tenor or baritone and also more jazz playing because I tend to play with more of a kind of out embouchure like that on jazz and I find that's less tiring for me um, than the, the classical stuff which um, can feel like you're biting your own face which yeah, I know some people disagree with that but it's actually... Um, it makes it makes the right sort of sound, but unfortunately it causes a little bit of pain. So I would kind of plan out my practice in that way. So I'm putting the stuff that's requiring the most effort earlier in the day and leaving the other things later. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, do please check out my other videos. Check out my website as well for more information. Um, these sort of things are hopefully helpful to you, but there's nothing like having an actual teacher to help you with the things that you need help on. So do get in touch if you're interested in lessons or in any other advice.